Hi, I'm Bob Berry. We've all heard the phrase, a chain is only as strong as its weakest link. Improper rigging can often be that weak link. Over 90% of crane-related accidents are the result of human error. How you attach a load to a crane can mean the difference between a successful lift or an unfortunate accident. The first step in successful rigging is selecting the type of hardware and its capacity. Next, find the hitch and sling angle. This refers to how the slings connect to the hook and the angle from each point of the load to the hook. Slings are strongest when pulled straight from the hook. Finally, secure and balance the load. For example, a load of bundled materials needs to be secured to keep materials from falling out of the bundle. Balance the load by finding the center of gravity to prevent it from flipping or turning in a dangerous manner. Softeners are an important part of rigging. Frequently, accidents happen from either failure to use or improper use of softeners. Unsecured softeners can slip, and softeners of inadequate thickness or strength are equally dangerous. Shock loads will usually be instantaneous and may go undetected unless visible damages occur. No equipment is designed to compensate for poor rigging practices or foolish planning. Safe rigging practices demand that equipment limitations are known and fully understood and are never to be intentionally exceeded. However, because all rigging material will stretch under shock loading, the exact shock load is not easily predictable. All equipment and rigging should be limited to stresses that are smaller than their load ratings. Using below capacity rigging or components is just asking for an accident to happen. Remember, proper rigging, the correct equipment, and good communication between crew members always makes for a safe lift. Thanks for watching and look for our next Sim Safety Minute coming soon.